Pound for Pound Boxing Channel. It's your host, Frederick. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, Danny Jacobs, Canelo Alvarez fight just ended, man. I'm doing my little quick reaction to the fight. I was scoring the fight at first. Then I just... I ain't scored. I just... I was watching it, talking to one of my homeboys about the fight, stuff that we didn't like. Um, we both wanted Danny Jacobs to win. Danny Jacobs started kind of slow, but I, I, man, I just feel like the first three rounds, I, I gave it, gave, it was 2-1, Danny Jacobs, and then Canelo started taking over, and Canelo kind of switched, he was fucking Danny Jacobs up with his head movement, I'm not gonna lie, his head movement was crazy, man. So, I mean, for, he did that probably like, what, two rounds, had Danny Jacobs kind of just throwing it air when he was trying to jab, you know what I'm saying, it was crazy. But, I mean, I think the thing that, that helped Danny Jacobs out was he kept switching, and he was going to the body. That's what I always will say. If you want to beat Canelo, you got to go to his body. You can't be head hunting like uh, uh, Triple G was doing, all slow and trying to head hunt. You got to go to his body. That'll slow all that counter punching down. But you got to be careful for the uppercut. You know what I'm saying? You got to faint. You got to throw. You got to jab. It's a little, a little bit of mixture of, of everything, but mainly focus on his body, bro. Because his conditioning will come out. It was, it was a point. I think like round eight or round nine, Canelo just looked tired as shit. He was doing hardly nothing, man. Because he was tired from holding body shots. He, he's one of them, like I said before, he's one of them, you can dish it out, but can't take it kind of fighters, man. So if you go to his body and then put pressure on him, because I noticed he was trying to do, I think, he was doing like the Triple G thing, how he kind of walks you down, but the, he's trying to get closer and closer to you, taking little baby steps, taking little tiptoes, you know, and trying to walk you down and put pressure on you, make you make a mistake, so you panic, you know what I'm saying, he can counterpunch you or whatever. Like, it was, that's... Yeah, Danny Jacobs is a good fighter, man. I just think he lacks just a little bit more skill, a little bit more trickiness. I like his trainer. His trainer was, trainer was giving him good, you know, good instructions. But I think he should have put – it was just times where it was like, okay, I'm going to just watch Canelo for a second. I'm going to throw my little baby jabs and watch him just react to me. I'm going to let him do what he wants. Uh, I'm going to, you know, go around the ring and move around the ring a lot and let Canelo just hit me for a little bit. And then all of a sudden – Towards like the end of the round, he would power up. You know, Danny Jacobs would power up and try to steal that round. And it worked a couple times. But for the most part, I don't think Danny Jacobs did enough. I don't think he was he's I don't think he's that skilled to take down a fighter like Canelo. I feel like Canelo is just skilled in every department. He's the most he's the best overall fighter in the game to me. I mean, he's not perfect, but I mean, I feel like Danny Jacobs or any fighter that fights uh Canelo is gonna have to fight him and the judges. And I'm watching the zone. I'm listening. This was this was really gonna start making me not watch with commentary because they these boys was dick riding Canelo the whole fight, rounds that I know Danny Jacobs won. Oh well, I got a six one Canelo. Like what the fuck? Like bro, you should have seen my face when they were just showing their scorecard. Oh, I only got damn Jake Danny Jacobs winning three rounds. What the fuck, bro? I just. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, I understand, you know, he signed a 10 fight deal, a little 300 million, you know, that's cool. But you gotta tell the truth, man. You gotta tell the truth. You can't be, you know what I'm saying? You gotta tell the truth about everything, bro. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But anyway, that's just my take on it. Oh, then it's another thing too. They would always say like, oh, well, Danny Jacobs, he's throwing a lot of punches and he's landing, but, you know, Canelo landed the, the, the harder, cleaner punches. Yeah, Danny Jacobs, he, he landed 10 jabs, but Canelo got that one good power shot. But then they would go in the second part of the, in the second half of the fight and say, oh, well, uh, 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 you can't just count, uh, uh, you can't just count Jacobs' one power shot to, to, to Canelo's body of work. You got to go for the whole fight. I mean, the whole round, I'm just sitting there like, that's not what y'all just said when it came to Canelo. When it came to Canelo, it's okay. You give him the round because he 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 took a, a, a freeze, a photo freeze fucking counter punch. You know what I'm saying? He didn't hit somebody with a super powerful fucking left hook or something. And he's been hit 10 times, but you just, oh, that left hook was crazy. He wins that round. How the fuck are we judging anymore, bro? I thought this was boxing. If I'm sitting here tagging you fuck, 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 about six, seven times, doubling up the jab and shit, and you hit me one time, Motherfucker, I still won. I won that round. That's crazy to me. That's just, this is one of my problems with boxing, because it's like when it comes to certain fighters, I know y'all biased. You want your favorite fighter to win. That's cool. But we got to judge this shit right, man. 
But salute to everybody that watched the fight, man. Salute to J J Danny Jacobs. Salute to uh, Canelo Alvarez, man. It was a good fight. Cool. You know what I'm saying? The Zone, y'all got some issues with y'all app, man. My app crashed like three times. My my internet, I've never had a problem with my internet on anything. So I don't want nobody saying, oh, it's your internet. Nah, bruh. My internet was good. I seen the whole Danny Jacobs ring walk. I didn't like that. It was like they cut him off. Then they went to Michael Buffer in the ring. Then they waited a little bit. Lights went out and shit. Then they came back to Danny Jacobs to walk in the ring. I don't know what the fuck was going on. That shit was whack as hell. But anyway, salute to everybody, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Pound for pound boxing channel. I'm out. Oh, merch coming soon, man.